Isotope RX is a great program for anyone transferring or encoding vinyl digitally. It is a great application that can remove pops and clicks, hum, noise, clipping, and other unwanted artifacts that may appear on a vinyl recording. It is also possible to do spectral repair to the file once it is encoded into the computer as well. There are many programs that claim to have superior features regarding the possibility of restoring files recorded from vinyl that contain severe pops and clicks. But is this really possible? And is there a program that exists that has perfected this? In this case, I would have to confirm yes, this is possible and Isotope RX has perfected this. So let's go under the hood and test this. I encoded some songs from vinyl the other day and many songs had severe pops and clicks that were audible during recording and playback of the newly encoded file. This is quite a problem when encoding files from vinyl. Severe pops and clicks can cause a recording to clip or to go into the red because of it. And in digital terms, anything over 0 dB or in the red zone is a no-no. So first, I selected the region that contained the severe pop and clicks, as you can see. As you can see, the unwanted artifact within the recording is not only audible, but visible as well. I have the option of allowing the computer to scan through the entire file and remove any unwanted pops and clicks according to the settings I specified the program to do so. However, I'm going to choose to remove the specific pops and clicks manually. Either method works and each has its own advantages and disadvantages. So now I have zoomed in very close concerning the specific pop and click I'd like to remove. All I have to do is execute apply and that pop and click is removed. Voila! Here are the before and after results. The specific pop and click I worked on has been removed. You still hear pops and clicks in the latter part of the sample only because I did not automatically or manually remove them. It's that simple to remove pops and clicks using Isotope RX. This program is a must and this one function is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of what the entire program is capable of doing. Does anyone recognize the sample?